Hello, hello. Uh, this is Tamara Hergert. I am a founder of the Empowered Artists Community. And today I will guide you through the steps to build your art business. So let's dive in. Uh, step number one, define your art business goals. What do you want to achieve with your art business? What do you want to sell? Do you want to teach art classes? Do you want to sell prints? Do you want to sell originals? Do you want to license your art? Do you want to sell merchandise? For example, you have a cool design, um, you know, like uh, some kind of cheetah uh, design that you created and you want to put it on products. Um, once you know your goals, you can start developing a plan to achieve them. And then step number two is identify your target audience. Who is your ideal client and how you're going to reach them? So once you know your target audience, you can start um, tailoring your marketing and uh, promotion efforts to reach them. For example, uh, marketing efforts to get more clients to commission your art would be um, very different from um, marketing efforts to sell more prints. And so step number three uh, is creating a strong online pr presence. This includes having a website, social media accounts, and um, an online portfolio, either on your website or on one of the platforms that you decide to choose a, to choose for one of your um, business models. Um, for example, you have a print-on-demand uh, page on one of the print-on-demand uh, platforms where you um, so, uh, sell uh, prints of your artworks or um, prints and merchandise with your designs. And so I would say um, check out uh, different options and start with your website, then um, set up social media channels. You don't have to have um, um, a gazillion billion follower followers right away um, because mo in, we all start somewhere. If you have just a few followers, that's totally fine. Um, it will grow over time um, as you um, put more effort into uh, your social media strategy. But also don't put um, all your um, love and intention into the social media because for different channels, for different um, revenue streams that you're creating, you would need different marketing efforts. So social media is... Um, one of the most popular ones, but it's not one of the most effective ones for uh, for uh, each particular uh, revenue stream that you're opening up. So um, don't think that you know, you know having um, ten thousand followers gets you uh, a whole bunch of client commissions or a whole bunch of uh, art print sales, um, because in most cases it doesn't. <laughs> because um, Unless you, um, unless you um, really uh, gear all of your social media posts to one specific uh, um, target audience, it's um, you cannot really tell if those people are gonna buy your art prints. Maybe the most of your followers are, you know, your fellow artists <laughs> that like your art and appreciate your um, content. So those are not your buyers. <laughs> so uh, I hope you understand what I'm saying in terms of uh, creating a target audience and reaching it. Um, there are different ways uh, to reach your people other than social media. Um, so, and you need to basically think, think of it that way and think outside the box of social media. Uh, channels. Um, step number four, then develop a marketing plan. Uh, how will you reach your target audience and what marketing channels um, will you use and oh, how much will you uh, spend on marketing? And your marketing plan should be very specific, measurable and achievable and relevant and time bound.
So it's okay to fail. It's okay to try uh, different things. Uh, I have tried all sorts of things and some of them worked, some of them uh, somewhat worked, some of them, some of them failed miserably. Um, and I am glad I've tried them because if I didn't try them, I wouldn't know. <laughs> um, so uh, just go for it and try out and try out different things. I wouldn't spend a fortune on uh, uh, social media marketing. I would um, really consider investing in um, uh, different ways of marketing your art and uh, just sitting down and thinking hard or taking one of our master classes, which would really just give you a shortcut to that. Um, and then step number five, uh, once you figure out your marketing plan and a strategy, um, is setting up your business structure. So there are different business structures to choose from, such as sole proprietorship, uh, which is LLC, um, and the most common one for uh, small business owners. And then there's partnership, um, um, like S corporations or uh, PLLCs. Um, and then there's a um, limited liability company um, structure, which can be all sorts of um, options. You can be an LLC while being, being a sole proprietor. You can be an LLC while being an S corp. Uh, so LLC is one of the most um, um, common and versatile um, company business structures. Uh, and so I would say that um, um, don't be afraid to research this and um, choose the uh, business structure that will um, fit your individual circumstances. And then obtain the necessary permits and licenses. That's the next step. That's step number six. <laughs> then um, think about it this way. If you're doing um, some sort of uh, on-site work, you may need a business license from your city um, to do that work. Uh, not necessarily, but some cities require that. And um, you may need a permit or a license or insurance um, um, for doing mural work, for example. Uh, like in my area, I don't need a permit or a license. Um, um, actually, I do need a, a city business uh, license or a state business license to do work, um, but there's no permit required for uh, mural work. But it may vary by city, so check it out and research your particular area and requirements. Check with your local government and uh, find out what um, it is that they need uh, from a um, an artist. Most of the times they're very... Um, very, um, I wouldn't say lenient, but they just want people to do business and um, um, they're very supportive of artists. So step number seven is manage your finances. This includes tracking your income and expenses and setting a budget and paying taxes. You should also set up a business bank account and credit card to keep your personal and business finances separate. So that is very important. It's super easy to do. Just ask your business to set up a separate business bank account and also get a separate credit card so you can track your business specific expenses. It will come very handy at tax time when it's time for you to, um, you know, just sum it up and um, uh, figure out uh, your uh, business income and expenses uh, for the year and um, uh, pay your um, uh, business taxes. Um, and I will tell you that um, so different uh, jurisdictions have different um, tax uh, uh, levies and so check out what your state has uh, going on and check out um, what uh, uh, your city has going on and if you register your um, uh, business with uh, the city then you may need to file um, uh, a um, tax form with them either quarterly or annually uh, so 
it's not hard. <laughs> it is very easy. As a matter of fact, you just tell them how much uh, you burn, how much you spend, and they tell you, oh, you are uh, um, one of the business, uh, small businesses that have this much business exemption. And um, at the end of the day, you uh, may end up paying nothing for uh, city business taxes or state business taxes because cities and states are generally very supportive of small businesses and they have a pretty high um, small business exemption. So uh, obtain the necessary um, um, paperwork and then um, set up yourself with uh, for success with the state and um, the city and then um, get organized. Basically, I have at least a spreadsheet to keep track of all your um, uh, ins and outs, meaning income and expenses. Uh, so your expenses and income can be downloaded as an export uh, from your bank account or uh, from your PayPal account if you're uh, receiving um, um, payments from clients through PayPal or other payment uh, systems like Stripe or square um, and having a good organization system will help you run your business more efficiently and of course um, the next point would be provide excellent customer service and uh, be very professional this is essential for building a successful art business because making sure that you are responsive to customer inquiries uh, and uh, answering all their questions and being attentive. Um, it sets you up for success and it um, assures a great review um, from your clients and people you work with. And number 10 is be patient and consistent and persistent in your excellence and in your uh, professionalism. It takes time to build a successful art business so don't get discouraged if you don't see results immediately just keep creating uh, great art promoting your business and providing excellent customer service and eventually you will start seeing a big difference um i just want you to uh know that i am super excited that you're listening to this podcast uh that means that you're pas passionate about your art and you want to um figure things out and you are a professional in all respects because you're investing time and effort into figuring things out. So I uh, am wishing you all the love and success on your creative path. Keep listening to our podcast and check out our YouTube channel. Please subscribe and uh, follow us on Instagram. Uh, check out our Instagram uh, page and uh, uh, like us on Facebook. Uh, I really hope that this uh, episode was helpful and I'm signing off for now. Wishing you the best day ever. Okay, bye for now.